Welcome, my friends, to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Amos Adventures vlog. Anyway, we're here that? at Wakiva or Waikiva? Not sure. Tomato Tomato Springs, Central Florida, right off of uh, Highway 4, Interstate 4, just south of Sanford, about southwest of Sanford, maybe 20 minutes, not sure on the mileage, but got here in about 20 minutes with Amos Adventures vlog. Mobile 2, Aimless Adventures 2 Mobile. What am I even saying? Point being, it's four bucks to get in here. They cost nothing to drop my kayak. They do rent canoes and kayaks over there, which is where those folk who have got going backwards in a circle down to a science over here around the corner. You can rent those there. Uh, park closes at about dusk, so ah, uh, I am very grateful and consider it a huge blessing that the cloud cover is going on right now because it gets hot and humid out here. Anyway, so today's vlog, we're going to be uh, cruising through the springs looking for wildlife, critters of all kinds. This time, Critter Cam has some goodness. The rock star of Okiva Springs. No, I'm not talking about Bon Jovi. I'm talking about that gator over there. Not sure if you can peep them out. See the lily pad sticking up there? Or whatever type of shrubbery that is? Alright, if you're looking right there, you gotta go a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper, you're gonna see the gray body there peeping out. Almost a black body. Let's see if I can get us a little bit closer. Not gonna go super close because we're trying to not get attacked and or leave them in their natural environment. If you take a look back there, you can see we got a little inlet, kind of a cut out in the back right there, just right at the base of the far vegetation. You can see them. It's probably around five, six feet, maybe seven, not that big. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the language here. We got some folks going by. This is a generally a family vlog. But passers-by have dropped an F-bomb. Sorry, kids. Well, hopefully you've been able to get a, a good peek at that gator. It's a little hard to see, but I don't want to go too, too close. This is one of the back runs at Wakiva or Wakiva Springs State Park here in Central Florida, just southwest, southeast, scratch that, southeast of Sanford, Florida, where I reside currently. And I think this is called uh, Rock Springs Run or Blue Springs Run or something like that. But speaking of run, you can see that the water is running that way. That bug is going in the other direction. There's a leaf with bugs on it. Hitchhikers. So there's a little bit of a current. You can see how crystal clear this water is right here. Temperature, I'd say probably around 72, 73, somewhere in that ballpark. Very comfortable. And uh, I don't know if you can get out here and walk or not. But I'm thinking about doing that. And you're wondering... Aren't you sitting down in a kayak right now? Well, yes. Yes, I am sitting down in this kayak. There's slowly, little by little, they're getting tanner. More tan. And this is the... Perception Sport Scout. 
as of right now, I'm the only person out here. Off in the distance, I do hear critters in the trees. Back in the woods there, the thumping of a woodpecker. And a little while ago, if you look back, uh, the last vlog, I think it is, um, starts with, it's the first one on the list there that says Wikiva uh, State Park, Spring State Park, something like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to title it because I haven't uploaded it yet. I'm thinking in my mind what I'm going to call it. It'll be Wikiva Spring State Park, something or other. It'll be up there. This will be below it. And uh, no, it'll be below. This will be above. Whatever. Anyway, long story short, I've decided to take a detour off the main drag there. Very noisy, very loud. And in that last vlog, point being, you'll see a gator. Hopefully it picks it up. It's probably around mm, five to seven feet long, including tail, small, juvenile. Not aggressive at all, just kind of hanging out in the shrubbery. He was just kind of like back in some shrubs. Anyway, go check that one out. And uh, I'm perched up on this log right here. You see those muscles right there? Clams or mussels? Some snails over there? I'm going to stop talking so you can enjoy the beauty. I'm going to be pausing this from time to time. I may post up on this log or one of the other logs and uh, get myself some lunch out of the old bag. Right back yonder. So take it in. And then I'll see you in a few minutes. Critter cam. Well, this certainly was unexpected and extremely noisy. Cutting into our chill time. Unexpected for you as it was for me. The 
Yes, I've tethered my hand to the stump, and here comes more noise. This vlog has taken a turn for the city life, even though I know those boys right there are about as woodsy as I am. So, anyways, got some folks row, row, rowing their proverbial where they at. There they are, kayak up the stream. I did not know that fan boats could cruise down this uh, waterway here. So, if you're uh, more familiar with this uh, Rock Springs Run, I believe it's called, than I am, post comment below. Let me know if that's uh, something that's allowed or if these guys are just rolling through. I mean, I'm definitely cool with the fan boat and fishing by all means. Just was unexpecting any of that activity going on. So, it's about to get quiet again. We're going to go ahead and take a little look-see here. And then, if I can manage to do, or not do, rather, what I did not do, I'm not making any sense. I'm going to try to not shut the camera off this time, but actually pause it. It's not paused. I'm just paused. Getting a little distance between me and the gal that just went through. So that when it's lunchtime, which is going to be in about 10 minutes or less, I can get some quiet. Oof. The five head. That's why I keep that dome covered. That thing. A buddy of mine back in Vegas, he said, uh, I said, man, I got a big forehead. <clears throat> he says, no, sir. That, my friend, is five head. Called me Cynodome. Said it's so big you could show up movie on it. Well, ah, we were cruising down the river. There's the current pulling us. Anyway, got to pause now. Catch up with you in a few minutes. If you're still watching, we're like 10 minutes in. Nothing exciting has happened except for that fan boat activity. See if we can find some kind of critter. Welcome back, my friends. Not sure if this is going to be spliced with the vlog before or if it's going to be its own vlog. It seems like my camera has timed out while I was trying to paddle up this current. And I believe what you hear grunting over there, around that corner somewhere, is a bull alligator. Now, this current's kind of wore me out a little bit. Here, I'm not, it's not really coming by too awful fast, but when you've been doing it for two hours, you send a little message to your brain that says, take a break, son. So I'm going to I beach myself in this little sandbar area. I'm gonna go ahead, hop out, and get some lunch. Oh yeah, oh that water feels good. I'm glad the camera was facing the other direction because that was probably not the most graceful thing I've ever done. So we're going to beach us up right here. Got some gals coming by again. Get out of the way there. You can see the deeper parts of the channel right here coming through. It's all deep here. A little deep over there, and then you got sandbars here where the current's not going. Somewhere over there is that bull alligator. I'm not quite sure if we're going that way. They call the tandem kayak. Oof. It's time. 
muy bueno. They call the tandem kayak the divorce maker. So, I'm certain that the ladies are not married. And my wife is not kayaking with me in the singular kayak. Speaking of, I haven't given you guys a little look-see at the kayak. I don't think in its entirety. Let me take a look. I'm not sure if you can even see that. 12 foot perception sport and it's the scout model a little bit older of a kayak we got an area back here for a rudder system you put the rudder right on here run your line there control it from up front here's your drain plug you get water in there stand it on edge on the newer models they've taken this and actually put it center go figure uh, rather than have it here so it weebles and wobbles all over the place. I'm not quite sure why they off-centered it like this, other than maybe the rudder system. Cheap little $15 deal from Walmart. You just have to have it on you, on your uh, kayak. And this, in case I want to call David Hasselhoff. Of course, there's my cooler. Dollar store, 10 bucks. And here's where your rod goes for your fishing. You're in here. This plug is missing, but whatever. It was cheap enough on Craigslist, so not complaining. Now you can see I got some water in here. Drink, drink holders. Some of the newer ones, they put a little line in here so it drains. And they also have these scupper holes. Those are just holes that, if you're not familiar with kayaks, they have holes in the bottom so that they drain. That just happened. Got Florida. Back to the scupper holes. Some of them have them, some of them don't. This one doesn't for whatever reason. They never put them in there. So I get a little bit of water in there. And that's why I have this. This is from a five head. And then this here I use to scoop it out. Down in here, you've got a little storage area. And of course, I've got my waterproof camera. I've got my wallet, my keys. And, uh, yeah, and a baggie that I can't seem to get back in there. That lid closes over top. Seat adjusts here. The lumbar area goes up and down with these. These are actually broken, but I have to reinstall them. Anyway, make do with what you got. This works. Uh, seat stays dry. Only my butt being sweaty. Uh, it's got it a little bit moist. I knew you needed to know that. Cheap paddle, like 30 bucks at Walmart. Eventually I'll get a lighter one, but for right now it's good enough. You got a bungee area up here. There is no internal storage here. I may go ahead and put a, uh, cut a hole and, and drop some kind of storage like that up in here. But for now, this is what it is. And I'm going to go ahead, open up my snack bag. You don't need to watch this. Take a look at nature. Nature sounds better when someone's ripping it up in a zipper bag. Hey, look. I forgot to mention, there are otters through here too. Gators, otters, cottonmouth snakes, bald eagles, golden eagles. Of course, you saw that white ispis. It boogied by and landed in that tree and then took off. Anyway, into the snack bag. The essentials, the must-haves. Water, sunscreen, bug be gone. And here in the snack bag, I brought some goodness. A banana, pay no mind to that hostess zinger. Ice packs, gotta have them. Here's one after. There's ice pack down in there too. This, my friends, cantaloupe. You can't elope, because your daddy won't let you. Thank you. You're all weak. Tip your waiters and waitresses. Gonna go ahead and pause this while I get my snack on. I've also got a salad down in there. You know. It might happen. 
not going to be eating a salad, as far as I know, unless I use these. Because someone forgot a fork. I almost said a frog. That would make no sense. Hmm. Who likes frog legs? Comment below. One last look. As I float down, you can see the current hay fish right there. Little fish scurrying about. And one cruising by that log. They're everywhere. Off in the distance, you can hear a snapping of twigs. Not sure what's going on back there. This is bear country. And, uh, pretty quiet out here right now so a couple folks go the other direction about 20 minutes ago I was posted up on a, uh, a tree overhang just kind of chillaxing in the Sun and then briefly in the shade you got to balance it you know fair skinned and all anyway so uh, I haven't really seen any more gators I haven't seen any bear I haven't seen any turtles. I really haven't seen anything but little fish. And things that look like gators. It starts to play on your mind. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Ah, just as I said, I'd see nothing or saw nothing. Up ahead, we have the white isbis. Pecking his beak. Taking his beak into the soil, looking for goodness. Ooh, don't let the hobbits know. There are shrooms over here. Don't think those are worth eating. There's the isbis. Anyway, this is a really nice river. Um, I believe, again, this is uh, Rock Springs Run, I think it's called. Anyway, uh, go to Wakiva Springs State Park. It's four bucks to get in. You have, to, If you have your own kayak or canoe, uh, you're going to have to carry it down or put it on a cart if you have your own because they do not have them. And I think the guy said that the kayaks, if you rent them, are like... Uh, 19 or 20 bucks for a kayak or canoe. I think that's just for a couple hours. If you want to go all day, that's going to cost you a little bit more. Yeah, figure it out. Contact them and I don't want to give you too much wrong info. Check out this critter. We're heading right for him. Actually, we're heading right for that log. Fear not. It's a prop. Kidding. I am going to correct the path of this here boat. But check this out. Look at how clear this is. Now, the oar, it's not even the depth of that right there. Regular standard size kayak oar. Most places, it's not even that deep. Very cool. Crystal clear water, sandy goodness. Just a really nice place to come. It's in the middle of the week now. I think it's uh, Wednesday because I have weird days off. I'm sure if you come here on the weekend, it's going to be super noisy. It was a little busier earlier. I'm glad it's calmed down. It's actually more enjoyable. I have no idea what that was. Some kind of bird. Cruising about. Not a lot of critters off in this area here. Oh well. Anyway, not going to bore you with any more. Thanks for checking us out. Don't forget, subscribe. It's free. Share it with other people. Post it on your Facebook, Twitter, whatnot. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, that is, go ahead, share, 
subscribe. Check us out on the social networks, which are Aimless Adventures, all one word, on Facebook and Instagram. Have a good day. We are totally going sideways. This might not end well. Tune in next time to hear me say, that definitely was a water moccasin. Bye. And I'm pretty sure he stayed up way too late last night.